Dominic Welch doesn't recommend plucking weeds from your yard and eating them. They're juicy, they're sour, they're really good. Until you've done some research. There's plenty of bad plants out there um, that, that stay on my radar. And what is this? Mick Welch has been a student of outdoor survival skills since he was a teenager and took up backpacking. I thought that if I could find everything I needed out in the woods, then I wouldn't have to bring it with me. There's, there's thousands of them on these trees, but they're not suitable food. He founded Earth Connection in 1997 to share his expertise. And since these have opened, the pine nuts have probably already all dropped out. Mick Welch has had as many as two dozen students in classes. Today, he has two, Tamai and Bob Hyland. I'd like to be able to know that if there were an emergency and I couldn't get food in the store, that I'd be able to find food on my own. But also, uh, my wife and I, would like to, we like to learn new things. Recently, I started cooking wild um, plants like dandelion in our yard. And it tastes really good. And then, then finally I studied, okay, yeah, I'm gonna study. Steamed, fried, anything. Here on Earth Connection's four hectare property. Very, very common. The highlands are learning about dandelions. Give that a smell. And other edible plants, like, like yarrow. It smells really good. And wild carrots. Oh, yes, yeah, more like carrots. Uh -huh. But McWelch cautions, carrots can be tricky to identify. Now what we're looking for are hairs on the stems. If there's no hairs on this and it smells bad, mm -hmm. you're looking at a poison hemlock or a fool's parsley, both of which are deadly. Okay. Autumn is a good time to forage, McWelch says. The salad greens that are out there are very mild and tender and sweet. Your tree nuts are abundant. There are still some berries and even some fruits in the end of the season. One of these cute little red rose hips, there was a rose. But even flower. with fruits and berries, he cautions, you have to be careful. About half of the red berries are edible to a human. We want to always check every berry that we're going to consider for food. These rose hips are an excellent source of vitamin C and... It's really tasty. A pleasant <laughs> surprise for Tamai Highland. Those are really good. I, I like, really like um, those. Yeah, that's, uh, I did, I've seen it so many times, but I've never really thought about it. It's edible. Yeah. McWelch says some students take his class on wild edibles because they're searching for new flavors. There's stuff out here that is rare, that is not easily transported, stuff that is just off the radar of, of normal um, you know, food consumption in America. And stuff that may very well be growing in many Americans' own backyards. So this is called spice bush. It just plant. requires a little searching. Leaves. You're on this mission to find this thing and you're not sure where it is, but you know it's out there and you know it's gonna be good if you get it. And then the acorn can last in the freezer for Tim McWelch years. offers his wild Each edible class every type. season of the year, so it's like it's as well as other container. classes in wilderness tons. survival. Um, Susan Logue, VOA News, Somerville, Virginia. Um, I want to try to get into...